Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Alright guys, this is going to be a reading for all signs. Um, I'm just going to do it this way this month so that you guys will know. Alright, so everybody who watches this will know how the other readings are going to be. This is like the format for all of the readings this month. So we're going to be finding out... Um, you know, like what's been detrimental to your connection or, you know, what's wrong with the situation or the person that you're dealing with or what's wrong with you. Um, what is this person's intentions moving forward? Will they or have they changed? And I'm going to do the full version for you guys so that you'll know like what to expect in the extendeds on your um, individual signs. But Typically, this would be the next part of the reading. It would be what to expect over the next four weeks. Does this person have something to say to you? And then the final outcome of your relationship and the connection, okay? So we're going to start off, and again, this is for all signs. What is, um, you know, like what has been detrimental or what is wrong with the situation or the person that you've been dealing with at this time? You know, what what's causing you guys either separation or limited communication. I've got the emperor coming out. <sighs> All right, so I feel like there could be just like, the emperor can be seen two ways. The emperor can be seen as somebody that really has their shit together. They know what they want in life. They're like, they got, you know, they're out there. They're confident. They're powerful. Um, there's somebody that gets the job done. You know, they're, they're embodiment of all the kings. So they're very balanced. But because I'm asking, like, what what's the issue here, I feel like it's more so the other energies that go along with the Emperor, which is somebody that can be in their ego, can somebody that is trying to control things. So there could be issues within the control of, like, how the situation is going. <laughs> you know, maybe there's been, like, a battle or a um, power struggle between the two of you. I feel like this person... In the situation, it's just been, it's been difficult, okay? So there's been a lot of ego issues. There maybe have been a lot of, like, inability to open up. You know, this can be, like, the to toxic masculinity energy where it's, like, they're juggling things. They're not seeing things clearly. Um, they could have juggled you and other people, or you could have juggled them and other people, or they could have, um, they could just have issues with their self-worth because, you know the the emperor who's in his power he knows his power like and he's confident he's and he's stable and all of that but he doesn't go to the toxic part of it he's not like a narcissist and he doesn't have issues with his self-value and worth so he's just very balanced and whole so i feel like if somebody was doing these things like anything like juggling around like like am i good enough or you know trying to lie to you or do anything that was causing issues or if you were doing this to them or there was just like an ego battle between the two of you it comes from insecurity it, it comes from you know just not feeling whole so I feel like that has been an issue here so there and I, I feel like it's probably impacted you both again these are never things that are just on one side and on the bottom here I've got the eight of pentacles so I feel like the issue has also been like needing to learn these lessons, needing to learn how to step into your power without struggling or like fighting other people or trying to be in control of a situation, feeling good enough about yourself to not have to like, you know, belittle or lie or manipulate or be focused on ego centered things like money, um, like what other people say, what other people do, whatever people think, you know, this has just been something that both of you probably had to learn. And I'm also seeing the four of pentacles. So I feel like there's just been a guardedness. And again, with the moon back there, it comes from insecurity or it comes from just not feeling, you know, adequate within ourselves. Yeah, we got the king of pentacles here. So I feel like this person has been either non-committal or you've been non-committal. There's been an imbalance of give and take within your relationship. So maybe one of you was like doing all the giving and the other was taking all of that. Okay, so that could have been an issue here too. It was like take, 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 take. And one of you was just give, 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 give. So there was just no balance. Maybe they juggled your value and worth. They didn't, they didn't treat you with respect or they didn't treat you good enough. Um, and they were just not able to open themselves up to give to you this king of pentacles so again there seems to be a lot of look at look at is this all pent oh my god this is all pentacles except for the emperor so this is our physical material world this is about our value and our worth every single card here except for your major arcana is centered on that so i feel like in the physical material world 
the two of you juggled your value and worth because you wouldn't let somebody else juggle your value and worth unless you were doing it for yourself, okay? You wouldn't let somebody treat you poorly unless you were already doing it, okay? I also feel like for some of you, it was just a complete power struggle of, like, who was going to be in control, um... And like just just like that toxic energy of our ego getting in the way of opening up and, and like tapping into emotions, okay? So there's just been a very imbalanced connection here. There's been an inability of commitment, there's been an inability to open up, and there's just there's just been lessons that needed to be learned, which is typical within these. But I do feel like once those lessons are learned, the two of you will rise into your your energy. I am, however, picking up that there could have just been issues surrounding making decisions in love too, because the lovers is about making choices. So that could have been one of your main main issues. And for some of you, the major issue is the fact that you were dealing with a twin flame because on a twin flame journey, it's not easy. Like there, you come in and you sign up to heal for not just each other, um, but for the collective consciousness, for all divine masculine energy, for all divine feminine energy. So it comes in with a lot of lessons, a lot of things, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of triggers, a lot of pain, you know. Um, so I feel like that may have been you know, one of the major issues that you guys had to deal with. But Lyra, look at that. He just fell out again. So I feel like the main issue that both of you had to heal here is feeling adequate on your own and not feeling like you need to be in control of anything or prove yourself to anybody or give a shit what anybody else thinks and needing to be able to open up and have joy and feel good and tell others how you feel, you know, really just study and, and learn what was needed in order to to heal your yourself which would heal your connection yeah so there's been a lot of tower moments there's, i feel like you know maybe this person came in and just kind of disrupted your life this can also be epiphany moments but i feel like you know asking like what has been the problems here or what is the problem here is that you know this person has come in and things have crumbled every time okay so now you guys may be in that energy of like crying over spilt milk, not being able to see that the Two of Cups still stands behind you, not being able to realize that you can have, you know, happy, passionate union with somebody. Um, but again, I feel like it was just you two needing to come into your Nine of Pentacles energy, being confident, single, independent people who know your value, know your worth, see things from a different perspective, come into a place of union on your own so you can come into a union with somebody else in a healthy way that's not going to be, you know causing a bunch of issues for the other person so you guys could both be very battle wound at this time you guys are like the wounded healers but i feel like this is also signifying that neither of you want to give up on the connection and that could also be a problem too for some of you it may just be difficult for you to give up entirely on this person or on this situation and that may be one of the issues that it yeah it's like maybe you need to stop juggling and make a decision am i giving up or am i Am I going to fight for this, okay? And for some of you, you may need to stop juggling your own value and worth and just give it up entirely um, so that eventually you can heal your inner child, you can heal from your past lives, and if this person is meant to be there, reconcile with them. Because I feel like that is one of the things, too, is like the detachment from outcome, like getting up off of your knee and realizing like your life doesn't depend on another person's presence within it. You know, you, you, you will get what you deserve when you go out and like work for what you deserve you know and when you feel good enough on your own that's when somebody else can come in and be there to share that with you but if they're in the energy of not feeling that way or you're in the energy of not feeling that way it's just going to be imbalanced so you have to heal that you have to face the inner child you have to go to those past lives and you have to get passionate about you know tapping back into yourself and manifesting your your desires and your dreams individually you know being a go-getter getting out there and getting things done energetically physically mentally spiritually for yourself so let's see what this person's intentions are towards you at this time or what their intentions are towards this connection so i've got the higher font so i do feel like this person looks at this as a higher level commitment i do also have the devil coming through so the devil, you know, is still that karmic energy. So it could be, too, that, you know, they may have good intentions for you, but there could still be some ego, like, mixed in with that good intention. Um, and I feel like this is also signifying that even with all this karmic -y energy in there, um, it, that was part of your spiritual commitment before you came in here to deal with. 
I also have the Empress here. So this person could see you as their Empress or you could, you know, be an Empress. Um, but this is an embodiment of all the Queens. So this person may want to make you their Empress or they may just know that you would be their Empress or that you will be their Empress. So it seems positive, you know, I, and I feel like for a lot of you, this could just be their, their like desire for you. This could be them wanting to make love to you. Um, this can also just be them wanting to break out of whatever karmic stuff that has been detrimental to the connection, okay? So I do feel like they, they see you as somebody that's significant, that they're supposed to be dealing with, that this is something that they must feel, you know, um, I also feel like they, some of them could just be feeling like, yeah, they could be burdened and weighed down. Like they could be feeling like, like they've been toxic or they could be feeling guilty about things. And I feel like, again, this is vice versa. The both of you could be feeling that way. You could be feeling guilty about things. I, yeah, I feel like this person or yourself or even both of you, you know, the intentions that you have, the feelings that you have, the thoughts that you're thinking, they're being influenced by whatever's already happened between the two of you in the past there's these illusions, we're not seeing things clearly, and so the sun needs to come in, and I feel like that person's intentions are to have clarity with you, to illuminate, they may want to open up to you, I just feel like they need to, yeah, they need to heal, they need to come into temperance, which is a balance of their passion and emotion, so in the past you guys may have had a lot of passion, but not a whole lot of like emotional um, experiences, I feel like there was maybe page experiences where there was more nerves or more, you know, um, sexual connection and that could be part of these burdens that were created it's like maybe the dynamic between the two of you was just more heated and passionate than it was emotional and so now it's caused like this blockage or these illusions when it comes to does this person care about me did this person ever care about me is this person dealing with x y and z is there still you know are they still dealing with the karmic person that they were dealing with then are they dealing with multiple karmic people this could be family members you know, there's so many different ways that this can show up, but basically, I just feel like the intention here is good. It feels like this person may want to apologize, or this person may just want to, like, make some sort of offer, but I feel like a lot of what is causing some imbalance or just causing, an, a, like, their issue with their intentions is just being stuck on the past. And this could be both of you. I feel like I feel like it is both of you. I feel like you're afraid of this person or you're afraid that cycles are going to repeat and they may be afraid that they will repeat a cycle or they may be afraid of, you know, how do, how do we go from here? You know, how do we fix this? Or is this just going to be another cycle that repeats itself? You know, but again, I do think that there's good intentions. It's like people know intuitively that if they can get over the weird, awkward hump that eventually they could lead themselves to this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, but there's just too much of this living in the past that's blocking, you know, this next level commitment and coming together as an empress, okay? So, and I also feel like it depends on where you are in the journey because there's so many of you out there. So some of you could just be in the beginning stages of all this and you have to go through this healing. Others of you could have already stepped into your nine of pentacles energy. You may have already detached a lot. You stopped, you know, chasing after this or feeling like, oh, what was me? And not really paying much attention to the distractions and things. You gave power away. It's like you kind of just surrendered into, you know what, this isn't happening right now, so I'm just going to do me. And I feel like for those of you in that situation, you may be attracting, you know, your next go around or like you could be attracting this clarity, this illumination. You could be attracting temperance with this person, working together with this person in the physical. Um, so it really just depends on where you're at. But regardless of where you're at, I do feel like there is good intentions. There's just been bad situations that you guys basically signed up to deal with, but it will eventually come to an end on that part of the story. Okay, all chapters come closing and then the next one begins with the fool. So some of you may be in the middle of the story, some of you may be at the end of the story, but you'll you'll know where you're at. Okay. And it, it basically comes down to time too, like how long you've been dealing with it. I also have King of Pentacles jumping with Eight of Wands on the bottom here. So this person could have the intention of taking action, communicating, and giving a King of Pentacles offer. This is somebody that wants to commit. This is somebody that's stable, very like loyal, dependable. This is a man of integrity. You know, this is the person you'd want to be like the father of your children. This is the person you would want to marry. This is the dude that has his shit together and he's got like that healthy understanding of his value and his worth you know he's not gonna like throw it in your face but he's definitely um 
aware of it, okay? And I feel like this may have been something that was slow to happen, okay? I feel like this person may have always been this, but it may have slowly taken them the time to get into the place of being ready to be it, you know, like, or realizing that they were that or that they could have that, you know, I feel like maybe in the past they put things on a pedestal and thought that it wasn't in their reach or that they weren't good enough or they weren't there yet or they don't have enough or they'll never be enough, you know, um, but I do feel like this person, um, and again, it depends on your part of the journey. Some people may be still working their way there, and that's their intention to get there. Or others of you, I feel like they've already kind of come into this place, and their next step is to start making moves and communicating, yeah, giving some sort of truth about what they're wanting from a place of integrity. So what... Um, let's see, like, has this person changed or will they change? Because, again, it depends on where you are on the journey. Has this person changed or will they change? So I've got the Page of Cups, the Sun. So this is kind of going along with what I was already saying. I also have the, the Three of Pentacles, the Empress, the Hierophant, and the Five of Cups. So I do feel like this, for a lot of you, this person wants to either apologize to you or make some sort of page offer which is you know could be a, a phone call it could just be a text message it could be like hey let's go on a date um i feel like this person does want to make an offer for some of you it could just be an apology they could be nervous about this because this is also like the page is also somebody that's nervous so maybe this person has never really opened up to you before or maybe they're just afraid about opening up to you now but I do feel like they have the clarity and understanding that they want to. So it does seem that like if if in the past they weren't giving you this, it does feel like they are now ready to work together with an empress. Or the empress is now ready to work together with their person that they're looking at within this connection. To build something more solid. To get into their next level commitment. I do, however, feel like even though this person... I feel like what may have even changed the person is like the loss, okay, like they could have lost something in their life, they could have lost you, they could realize like, you know, what they will lose if they don't come forward in this energy, um, and I feel like that may have pushed the change, but the problem with this as well is that some of them could just be stuck in this energy instead of making the action, they could be in fear or depression or just isolation or just this I don't want to knock over another cup because if I knock over another cup, guess what's left? The Ace of Cups. That means a new beginning in love somewhere else. So this person's on their last, you know, offer. <laughs> and I feel like they're nervous about it. They're not really quite sure what they should do with it. And for some of you, um, this may need to happen, okay? So I feel like for those of you who asked, you know, have they changed? I feel like a lot of them have. They're just needing to get over this final hump. And for those that are asking, will they change? I feel like they will, but they're going to have to go through this energy. So they may have to lose you in order to realize, or almost lose you, basically. You know, feel, realize that, like, you're not, you're not going to stick there forever just because you perceive the person as a two of cups. There's other two of cups out there. You don't put your value and worth down to stay in something where you're treated poorly, okay? And I feel like that was a lesson a lot of you needed to learn. That was the clarity a lot of you needed to come into in order to rise into either an emperor empress energy. That was that next level commitment to yourself to no longer be somebody that wasn't going to have ego give and take or have somebody show up to give to them in a partnership to work to build something solid. So you probably had to go through this or will have to go through this energy too where you feel like it's never going to come back. You know, it's like it's like a grieving process. And then there's the acceptance. And I feel like when a lot of you come to your place of acceptance, that's when you'll get your ten of cups, either with the person from the past that has now ready to change and give to you their truth or for you going somewhere else and manifesting your ten of cups or just having it on your own, okay? You don't need somebody else to have your ten of cups, um, and again, this can be vice versa. This could be something you have to do. And I, I do feel like there has been a lot of conflict and competition here. And it could be on both of you. There's been karma here. So let's see if this is changing or will this change. So I got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a valuable new beginning. And on the bottom, I have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like what this is signifying is that those of you who dealt with this Knight of Wands, this person that may have had secrets or somebody that came forward with all the passion but no emotion... I feel like underneath the surface, the secret was that they did care, um, but they just had this karma to clear, okay? The conflict, the competition, it was part of what you signed up to deal with, but I do feel like it can have 
it can change if the insecurities are put in the past, if the secrets are put in the past, if this light comes in to illuminate and clarify, and if those of you on the journey rise into either your emperor or empress place so that you can attract to your full fulfillment outside of you because you have it within you. Okay, so if you've been in this sadness, woe is me energy, start working together with spirit to build something solid. Start building your life in a solid way. Start planting the seeds of potential so that you can go out and get what you need to get. You know, embody this king of wands energy. This is the motivator. This is somebody that has passion and he's, but it's a healthy way and it's not going to just like fizzle out. You know, it's not going to just fall flat or only show up, you know, here and there. It's not a page. It's, it's a king of wands. This is somebody that knows what they want wanting and isn't afraid to get it so you may have to get creative in this but it's worth it because in the end you'll get your ten of pentacles in the end you'll have your healed balanced relationship or your healed balanced relationship with yourself so i do feel like you know this this connection can change have they changed yeah, so we got the high priestess. I feel like this person's also tapping into their intuition more. And they're, they could really now be thinking about what they're wanting in their life. You know, what am I wishing for? Where do I want to go with things? You could be in this energy tapping into your high priestess self. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Um, and I do feel like this person wants a, a new beginning. They could want to reconcile with you passionately as well. They could want to come back together to, you know, just feel your energy again. Some of them may feel defeated. Um by a queen of wands so if you've been in your queen of wands energy they may like be attracted to you but they may feel like they they won't be able to have this opportunity they could have you on a pedestal um but i do feel like there is a desire to to reconcile okay there's a desire to probably open this up and express these emotions that have been hidden under the surface but they could just be intimidated or afraid to make those actions okay but I, I also feel like there needs to be again healing for a lot of these people who are still holding back within their inner child and within the past lives that you've shared together so what can you expect over the next four weeks of this situation like what can you expect from this person over the next four weeks and again i feel like it'll be different depending on what side you're on so i've got the four of pentacles this is somebody being guarded this is somebody that's hasn't opened up let's get some clarification on that i also have the seven of swords this is um lying stealing cheating manipulating this is somebody that you know is self-sabotaging so with that moon energy up in the back there jesus christ this person i feel like over the next four weeks either you are going to be in this energy or the person you're dealing with is going to be in this energy this is that defeated self-sabotaging guarded guarded out of insecurity guarded out of fear guarded out of lies and secrets it's like this energy i feel like is is really causing a havoc within this partnership there could be telepathic communication happening between the two of you over the next four weeks or you could just be like picking up this energy from them and so it puts you into it so be mindful of that don't let this person like if you're not in this energy or you have no reason to be in this energy don't let their energy bring you there don't go into a place of anxiety don't start acting crazy calm yourself down and disconnect from the energy that's causing this within you okay because there's really no reason to ever be in this vibration you're not like even even, even if there's it like whatever's happened has happened okay there's no reason in holding on to it because there's a new beginning available to you so in the next four weeks there's also this like new beginning all right so this is an, either a new beginning in love with the person you've already dealt with this could be a new beginning in love somewhere else this is just like opening your eyes to this ace of cups and realizing that like something's available to me so it could be a new soulmate coming in for you or it could be the person from the past that you signify as a soulmate or a twin flame but this needs to be overcome first. So I really do feel like maybe in the beginning of the weeks, you'll start like off in this vibration or you, like this person you're dealing with could be in this vibration. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, wait, let me open my eyes and realize like my life isn't going to end. Let me have some happiness. Let me start over here. Let me fill my cup up. So it feels like it could be a rocky road for you in the beginning. Yeah, it's like still juggling that value and worth or not not knowing what which way to go or what decision to make. And then I got the King of Pentacles. So I do feel like this, yeah, it's like this person wants to consummate this. They want to come to the, I feel like they want to come to the end of this part of the journey where there's like the guarded, secret, you know, bullshit, feeling defeated or feeling like you're in a fight with somebody, like a, like a battle of love. 
it's like let's just put that behind us and start over um let's just have this like healthy loving connection let's not juggle our value and worth or juggle like like other people within this let's just make a commitment to put this shit in the past to get rid of the karma get rid of the karmics get rid of um anything that's just been nasty you know yeah, and then we got the fool. So for some of you, there may be a new beginning. I feel like, yeah, look at that with the four of wands. So for some of you, over the next four weeks, you may hear from this person, okay? you may This person may decide to take that leap of faith um, to go through the end because the world is the end of the major arcana. This is the beginning. So I feel like you're coming to the end of whatever has been kind of messed up for a lot of you. For some of you, you could be just like hearing from the person, um, checking in with them, realizing like, hey, there is still like something there. Um, so there could be like a little bit of union because like some people, it just depends on what you consider to be union, okay? Because like a phone call can be union like or communication or whatever. But um, for some of you, I feel like this person's really ready to let go of all that shit. I feel like you're really ready to let go of all that shit and you're ready to take that leap of faith into a new beginning and into that energy of the four of wands which is like a passionate connection with a divine counterpart making the decision to have your ten of cups to have your emotional fulfillment putting the shit behind you in the past that was keeping you out of the vibration of being an empress or being an emperor and reconciling listening to spirit so that you can let go of all this anxiety and all this bullshit know that you're valuable and have this illumination and the happiness that that you deserve so um I do feel like there's there's going to be like a roller coaster ride for people. Um, and again, it probably depends on where you're at on the journey and who you're dealing with. But there's also going to be major, major transformation for a lot of you. This person's collecting the tools that they need so that they can have a death of the old and a rebirth of the new. And I feel like you're doing the same. So spirit is guiding you guys. As long as you pay attention and you don't let stuff from the past hold you back and you don't hold back on how you feel or what you want or what you're doing, you know, that I feel like the choices can be made here to take a leap of faith into this energy and this vibration that you're looking for and to put that stuff in the past that's just been nasty, okay? All that nasty. And look, we got the king and the queen of pentacles. So it's like these two belong together. It's making the decision to be with the person you're meant to be with. This is your soulmate. This is the person that you need to take this this leap with and get rid of all this. Okay? So let's see what the final outcome of the connection is. I mean, you basically already got great energy for the next four weeks. What's the final outcome of this connection? What is the final outcome for these people? So I've got the Page of Cups, so I do feel like, you know, eventually there's going to be apologies um, or just like that love being offered with that like, you know, tee-hee type of energy with it. I also have the Tower in Reverse, so I feel like it's going to be the end of those Tower moments. This could be an epiphany that you guys have, or this could be the crumbling of the old, and then I have the Four of Swords, which is healing. So it's like you guys are healed, you learned your lessons, and now you're ready for your Ten of Pentacles, you're ready for your ultimate fulfillment, you're ready for your happy ending, um, you're ready for your King of Pentacles, you're ready to heal, you're ready to learn. Yeah, so I've got the High Priestess and the Hermit, so I feel like they'll be like, like the both of you will be very in tune at this point, okay? Yeah, it's like you guys will understand each other intuitively, you'll know how to like deal with each other, and I feel like trust trusting your gut within the connection rather than your ego or your mind or your fears it's like you're going within more you're expressing these emotions more you're trusting and following the intuition which is that next level commitment and i do feel like your destiny was to do this it was like to help you both to become more intuitive and to have the clarity and the illumination that you were meant to have I also have the Eight of Cups coming through for so some of you, you yeah, some of you, you may in the end decide to walk away um, and have a new beginning, okay. And for others of you, I feel like it's just like the finally the two of you decide like we're gonna yeah we're gonna work together, um, we're not gonna give up on each other, we're gonna have a valuable new beginning, we're gonna put all this stuff in the past. So it really just depends on you and your connection, your free will to decide if you want to reconcile with somebody or if you want to just. Um, start over somewhere else so for some of you you may have been dealing with a situation that wasn't 
divine, but for a majority of you, I feel like this is somebody that you were meant to go through this with, and you will come into this union in the end. So for some of you, you could have been dealing with a karmic situation that you just know you got to let go of, and you gotta, you're got to you going to see clearly your way to this new beginning. So don't give up on love either way, because um, I feel like either way you'll end up having a soulmate or a twin flame or whoever you want to, whatever you want to call it that you'll be together with and this reconciliation could be past life reconciliation this could be somebody from your past lives coming back in to unite with you in this lifetime so it will be a valuable new beginning but i feel like regardless you'll have to really reflect on this and learn your lessons and understand through clarity like is this my destiny with this person or is my destiny to follow my intuition elsewhere okay where am i where is my ten of cups or my ten of pentacles going to come from and and maybe tear down whatever situation you've been living within so that you can have somebody healthy healed and whole to work together with all right so let's see what this person has to say to you real quickly um but like i said i feel like a lot of you guys things are going good for you i send messages through music so this person and you probably hear a lot of different songs that remind you of the person and then, yeah, look, you need to heal first, and I put you on a pedestal. So I do feel like maybe there's a lot of messages coming back and forth, too, about, like, what needs to be healed within this. And and then we did see, like, that pedestal energy with the star card a lot. I feel like this person could now have you on a pedestal, or they may have had you on a pedestal, or you could have had them on a pedestal. And, and it was like that needed to be healed, okay? That needed, like, that not feeling good enough to put... Because when we put somebody on a pedestal or we put something on a pedestal, it's because we don't feel adequate enough for it. We feel insecure about it, all right? So that needs to be healed. I feel like within both of you, and I do feel like the two of you probably talk to each other about this within music. Um, I also am getting, I hate separation. So this person does not like to be away from you, but I do feel like a, a reason, a lot of the reason why they do is because of like not feeling good enough or just, um, just running from their emotions. We also have, I do not have the courage to leave my karmic for, so some of you, they're, they're either like, they're not courageous enough to leave behind like a marriage or a relationship that they're in or maybe this is a karmic lifestyle maybe they are somebody that like has multiple people around all the time like a like a serial dater um this could be somebody that's just like stuck in a karmic cycle or karmic beliefs this could be again that karmic energy of just like needing to heal okay so i feel like a lot of them feel like they just don't have the courage and a lot of them feel like they don't know what to say Okay, so they just don't know what to say to you right now, but they don't like being away from you. I also have, I love your beauty, I am jealous, and you are my twin flame. So for a lot of you guys, you are dealing with a twin flame. I feel like for those of you who are dealing with a twin flame, that's just how this is. This is what you got to go through. They are jealous. They could either be jealous of like whatever they see in your life. If they've put you on a pedestal, maybe they're jealous of like what's if you've got good stuff going on, abundance um happiness whatever for others of you i feel like this is you being in a karmic situation so they're jealous of that or they could just be jealous like maybe you're now dating other people or talking to other people and so and i feel like this is for you too i feel like you've both have had jealousy issues that need to be healed particularly on a twin flame whatever you have they have and whatever they have you have so you always got to look at yourself and be like hey wait a minute but I do feel like you both put each other on a pedestal you both see each other as being very attractive beautiful um, and you may both struggle to find the right words to say to each other and get stuck within karmic cycles and just hate the separation. But you, you both need to heal before you can come back around and stay in a healthy connection. I can't look into your eyes. So I feel like this person has a lot of guilt. Um, they may feel badly about things that have happened or they could just even be the intensity of it you know i find a lot of times that happens with people it's like i don't know i can't even look into their eyes because it's just so overwhelming um so this person feels that about you i want to have kids with you for so some of you this person wants to have kids with you and um i see myself in you so for some of you i feel like this person wants to see themselves in you like physically so that they can have kids with you but others this is just them saying like you're my family like i you're the mother of my children or you're the father of my children like you're the person i want to be with i, I don't want you having these with anybody else you know even though I can't look into your eyes, I want to have your children, <laughs> which sounds pretty much like a typical thing. You turned my life upside down. So I feel like that is that tower moment, that energy we saw. And you've helped this person to heal. So this person is healing. This person is doing, you know, their work and all of that. 
Um, so I do feel like they they are getting there. I am not ready for all of this. So this person feels like they're not ready for all of this. Yep, they're scared. Okay, this is like I feel like I'm not ready for all of this. I I feel like I'm not, I'm not good enough, you know. And I thought I knew what love was until I met you. So for some of them, like the intensity of the love, if they feel like they're not ready for. They feel like maybe they don't know how to love you back the way you would love them. Like they wouldn't be good enough at that. They're scared of it. They're scared of having somebody love them this much because what if they lose it forever? It's almost like it's it's better to have you at like an arm's length. Or, like, feeling like you're always going to be there than to lose you altogether. So they, like, kind of keep you away, but but you're not really away, you know? And I feel like that's for some of you. And then I'm very much addicted to you. So I feel like this is, for some of you, could be a karmic situation where you guys are just kind of addicted to each other. For others, I feel like it's just being addicted to the energy of each other. Particularly, like, the sexual energy I find people can get to be, like, a little... Um, a little weird and that's that's one of those places where you need to not let your value and worth go down you know like come up with healthy boundaries like um I've like recently come up with rules and stuff for like dating like I, I will not have sex with somebody unless we have at least you know a certain number of dates and things like that so you need to come up with things that are gonna do that particularly with these people because if you've had a tendency in the past to be like well they're my twin flame I'm just gonna go connect with them and have sex with them like don't do that because you're just gonna continue to repeat those karmic cycles that you may be afraid to break you may be afraid to leave that karmic cycle behind because you may feel like if you don't you know connect with them in that way then you won't get to connect with them then in that way but you, yeah it's like you need to work that energy out with the karmic cycle so for some of you it's them leaving away um a, a like marriage or leaving a situation and for others of you it could be just something toxic or karmic that's been in your relationship like we have sex and then we go away from each other or um you know we we talk and then we don't talk you know it's like whatever it's been or like the the fear of what other people will say you know all of that so basically it's getting the strength to overcome the addictions or the issues that have repeated over and over and over and over within these things and I feel like that could be why this person's afraid because they're like I don't know if I can I don't know if I'm ready for all of that and I think they could be again building it up in their head or making it out to be more than what it is you know it's just it's just having healthy healthy respect for people and treating people with respect and having healthy boundaries on yourself and treating yourself in a good way they're also saying, I know this energy is spiritual and I'm scared of change. So it's like they're afraid of the change, but they know that this is something that is awakening them. All right. They, they, they want to do this. They know they probably have to do this, but they're still afraid of it. And they're still having issues with like facing it. I feel like this is also their inability to like just face it. Maybe not even have anything to do with looking into your eyes. It could just be like facing the intensity of this awakening, going into the spiritual connection, changing their life or changing the dynamic that they have with you. And because some of them have kids to think about, they have families to think about and others, they're just stuck in their ego. So they pretend that they don't care but it they do okay it was just that the energy was so much for them and I feel like that's just why they run from it or they pretend like they don't give a shit but it, that's their ego too and others of you they just are stuck in situations with their family with their karmic relationships so it's going to be different for everybody and I and I do feel like this is all that stuff we we're already talking about needing to be healed here but this is something that this person obsesses over um you obsess over most likely and it causes this energy of feeling messy and not knowing what to do, but they will reveal their feelings, okay? Eventually, this person will, will be able to open up to you. So they're saying, I believe in you, and I feel like you believe in them too, okay? So just hold on to that and know that you guys, yeah, look, thank you for still loving me. So just hold on to the love that you have for this person, but move on with your life, move on with your stuff, move on with your healing so that they can admire your strength because they do and know that they do spy on you secretly. Okay. But you guys need to heal the codependency issues within it so that then when you release that, they can message you, they can come forward to you. And while you're moving on and healing, they're doing the same. Okay. And yeah, they're like, if you only saw yourself through my eyes. So they, I feel like the two of you have each other on that pedestal and you need to heal that because it's like, is this love a dream? I daydream about you. And like, that's just like, you guys got to stop feeling like this is something that you can't have or like that's too good for you because that's what's causing that ghosting. That's what's causing those issues. 
that's why this person feels like they're not ready but at the same time they are like addicted to it and want to be there so they just go back and forth back and forth and i feel like you probably both do this okay so pay attention to the signs because they're seeing them too and just keep doing what you got to do to heal and know that things will get better and um that you're never leaving this person's thoughts probably the same as as they feel for you okay so it does seem like you know Whatever you've been through has been difficult, but where you're going is probably much better. And um, like I said, I will be doing this for all of the individual signs, so it will be able to get more clarified on like a particular story or your situation. Um, and that's why I find like when I do collective things like this, is like there's all this energy that comes through. But yeah, I will be, I will be doing. I'll be starting with Leo, and then I'll go through the other twelve. I'm starting with Leo because it's Leo season, and then I'll figure out the other ones as I go. But thank you guys very, very much. Um, if you want to, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to donate, there's a link down below. Um, if you're wanting a reading or, um, yeah, if you're wanting a reading or my, my private readings, there's a, I'm, I'm like booked up until September 12th now, okay? Um, and um, I think that's it. I'm sorry, guys, I'm really tired. <laughs> been running around all day with different things and all of that my my pups went back two of my pups went back today to the vet and then i had to like catch pee and all of this crazy fun stuff um but i think i think i'll be able to do leo tomorrow maybe i'll do a couple tomorrow all right guys thank you guys very much in Mune, namaste